Hey guys, most of these rocks were found at the Bay of Funday. This one's my favorite one here that I found so far. I found this one at Steve's Cove. We'll show you them all wet and then the plan is to cut them and then try polishing them. The goal here is to cut this right down the center here. So that's what we're going to try to do. Unreal. Now we've got this one. I want to save this face, so I'm just going to cut it here like this. Now we got this one, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it through here. Yep, let's give it a go. Well, 
a dud. Nothing too interesting there. Can't win them all. This one here, I'm going to make a couple slabs out of it. Just because I really like that part there. And once I get good at making cavachons, I'll cavachon that out. But yeah, we'll make some slabs. Here's the grand reveal for this one. Man, that is beautiful. This one here is also one of my favorite ones. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it down the center here. on this one. Oh my. Oh my. Look at that. Oh my. That is incredible. Pretty sure this stuff's banded Jasper. And it's my favorite. I love banded Jasper. It's so pretty. Next up we got this one. And I have no idea how I want to go about this, but... I think what I'm going to do is just cut it in half like this.
Well, I was pretty hard cutting and I took a bit of time because I didn't want to fracture it. Oh my. Oh my heavens. I'm glad I made that choice. I'm so glad I made that choice. So now we got this one. And again, I think I'm just going to cut it down the center. Yeah, that is awesome. I don't know why that hole is there, but... Pretty awesome. Well, I think I'm going to try polishing them on this video, so... First, I'm going to start with this one, but this is the 180 grit. What I'll have to do is I'll have to buff out all the scratches and then move on to different pads. This is what it looks like dry. So I'm just going to have to buff it all them scratches. So that was about five minutes. What I did was I just stopped my camera for a minute. But I'll tell you what I do. And I'll show you in. I'll show you the difference between the two. So. I've watched about a hundred videos on how to do this and everybody's a little bit different. So I think it's kind of just trial and error. And if you're happy with what the results are, that's really all that matters. 
But anyways, what I try to do is just eliminate all the scratches from the previous cut and I'll show you what I mean. So this one here, you see all the white lines. And that's from the saw blade. So all I do is I put it on first stage and I just try to eliminate them. But one of the channels I watch quite frequently, he suggests you doing figure eights. And I found by doing this, he's completely right. It's way easier to do that because if you just hold it in one spot and go back and forth, the lines don't come out as quick and as easy. But if you do the figure eights, it comes out real fast. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll go on the stage two. I'll have to change the pads and all that. But you can see the stark difference there. And if you're happy with it, just go on the next stage. That's all I can say. So this is the 325 grit. So you just give it a little bit of water. Start it up again. So that was stage two, so it's wet right now, but I'll dry it off and show you the difference. So that's dry. And that's just stage two at 325. And once again, this was the first cut. Now this is on second stage. So now we'll move on to the next stage. So this is step three. This is the red disc. This is a uh, 600, a grit 600. Oh, well, here we go once again. This is what it looks like on grit two, which was 325.
That's wet, but I'll dry it off here. That's stage three at 600 grit. Once again, for a comparison, this is the one we cut. Now we'll go on to the next stage. So this is the blue disc and it's a 1200 grit. This is stage four. And again, I'll show you a comparison.
Getting pretty shiny. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next step, but I have to set it up, but I'll do it with you guys because I haven't used the 12,000 pad yet, so. I just gotta wash my hands, I'll be right back. So for this one you don't use water. So here we go. This is what it looks like now.
Look at that. That's crazy. Unreal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do all, I'm going to do these four more, but I'm not going to run you through the steps. I'm just going to do them and then I'll show you before and after when I'm done. Well, I finally got done polishing. So we'll do a before and what the end result is. So here's one that we cut open. This is it fully polished. I'll take some pictures after and make a slideshow. Well, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Thanks for watching.